Hi all, welcome to the best of CAT series by IMS. I am Parmeshwar over here. Today we are going to look at a question on geometry. Kindly give it a try and once you are done with it, kindly look at the solution. So in today's question, the question says that we have a right circular cone of height 12 feet. Stands on a base of diameter 8 feet. It simply means the radius basically happens to be a 4 feet. The tip of the cone is cut off with a plane which is parallel to the base and 9 feet from the base over here. And they have also told you take the value of pi as 22 by 7, very obvious. Objective is to find out the volume basically of the remaining part of the cone. So it's a simple question on first term over here. And first of all, let's look at the diagram. So we have a cone and we can say the height happens to be 12. The radius happens to be a 4 feet. Then we are cutting basically by a plane parallel to the base. So something like this. So you can see that we are getting two parts. The one part happens to be nothing but a smaller cone and the below that you get nothing but a frustum shape figure. Now what they have told you is that we have cut this particular part from a height which is equals to 9 feet from the base. It simply means if I talk about what is the height of the smaller cone, one can say that the smaller cone have a height of equals to 12 minus 9 or a 3 feet over here. Now there can be two ways to solve this particular question. One basically will be if I look at the smaller cone and the bigger cone and basically if I look at the ratio of their height. So the two triangles as you can see here the smaller one and the bigger one happens to be in the are similar and hence the ratio of their side will be in the same proportion. So in this particular case one can say small r divided by capital R will be equals to a small h upon capital H. And since I know the height of the smaller cone to be equals to let's say a 3 feet and the bigger one basically happens to be a 12 feet, this ratio becomes a 3 by 12 or one can say a 1 by 4 which simply means that the radius of the smaller cone will also going to be come out to be nothing but as a number 1 over here, 1 fourth of 4. So small r becomes equals to 1. What about the next step? To find out the volume of the first term, what people can do is they can find out the volume of the bigger cone and then subtract the volume of the smaller cone over here. Let's do the calculation. So volume of the first term should be equals to volume of the bigger cone minus volume of the smaller cone. That is one way to find out the answer. If I plug in the values, so remember volume basically happens to be nothing but 1 by 3 pi r square h. So for the bigger cone, 1 by 3 pi capital square into h minus for the smaller cone, 1 by 3 pi small r square into small h. And then if I put the values, what I get? 1 by 3 pi is common. This particular term capital R square into h basically will become 4 square into 12 will give me nothing but a number uh, 16 into 12 giving you 192 minus small r square into h is nothing but 1 square into 3 giving you 3 over here. So what do I get now? 1 by 3 into the value of pi is 22 divided by 7 into 192 minus 3 happens to be a 189. Then one can say this is going to become 63 if I cancel by 3. 7 into 9 happens to be 63. So one can see now that the answer in terms of volume will come out to be 22 times of 9 or one can say a 198 cubic feet. So 198 is going to be my answer for this particular question. If I look at one more way to solve this particular question using the concept of similarity over here, the two triangles basically are similar and we know that the small r upon capital R equals to small h upon capital H which is equals to nothing but 3 by 12 or 1 by 4 in this particular case. Now if two things are similar, we know that the ratio of their area happen to be in the ratio of the square of sides. Same way if someone asks you for two similar figure because both the cones are going to be similar over here, the ratio of their volume will be nothing but in the ratio of their cube of the respective parameters. So in this particular case, since I know that the ratio of the height happened to be nothing but 1 by 4, so the ratio of the volume of the smaller cone to that of the bigger cone will be in the ratio of 1 by 4 whole cube or one can say 1 by 64. Now what does this mean? 
This will mean that if I take the capacity of the bigger cone to be 64 liter, then the capacity of the smaller cone happened to be a 1 liter. So what about the volume of the thrust term? It happens to be 63 liter. So can I say the volume of the thrust term basically will be equals to nothing but 63 part out of every 64. So 63 by 64 times of the volume of the bigger cone, which happens to be nothing but 1 by 3 pi capital R square into capital H. Let us simplify this slightly. 63 by 64 into 1 by 3 into pi value is 22 upon 7. R happens to be a 4. So, this part becomes a 16 times of 12. Let us solve this. 7 times 3 basically becomes a 21. So, 21 into 3 is 63. Then one can say 16 fours are happen to be 64. 4 into 3. So, what do we get? We get nothing but 3 into 22 into 3 happens to be nothing but 9 times of 22 or one can say 198 cubic feet. So, my answer for this particular question has to be a 198. Now, if you have understood this particular concept well, kindly give it a try in the next, uh, in the replica question and put your answer in the comment section.